idea. Now, the second step is also fairly straightforward. It's just a second order effect of the same type. If you have F double prime is positive, then that means that F prime is increasing. That's the same principle applied one step up, right? Because if uh, F double prime is positive, that means it's the derivative of F prime. So, so it's the same principle, just repeated. And now I just want to draw a picture of this. OK, here's a picture of it, I claim. And it looks like something's going down, and I did that on purpose. But there is something that's increasing here, which is the slope is very steep negative here, and it's less steep negative over here. So we have the slope, which is some negative number, say negative 4, and here it's negative 3. All right, so it's increasing. It's getting less negative. Maybe eventually it'll curve up the other way. And this is a picture of what I'm, what I'm talking about here. That's what it means to say that f prime is increasing. The slope is getting larger. And uh, the way to describe a curve like this is that it's concave. So f is concave up. And similarly, um, f double prime negative is going to be the same thing as f concave, or implies f concave down. All right. So those are the those are the ways in which derivatives will help us qualitatively to draw graphs. But as as I said before, we still have to use our a little bit of common sense when we draw the graphs. These are just the additional bits of help that we have from calculus in drawing pictures. So I'm going to go through uh, one example to introduce all the notations. And then eventually, so probably at the beginning of next time, I'll give you a systematic strategy that's going to work when um, what I'm describing now goes wrong, or a little bit wrong.